God bless you. God bless you. This is Bishop Johnson, Prophetic House of God, International Ministries. God bless you. Thank you for tuning in once again for another YouTube broadcast that I'm giving here. I want to um, talk a little bit about um, demons in your body. A lot of you, um, Satan has defiled you um, somewhat when you were younger. And today you are still having issues in your life. Um, with things that you can't get a grip on. And I'm going to first start out with a scripture, okay? And then I'm going to get back into um, what I'm speaking on. Number one, I want you to go to 1 Peter 5, 8. It reads, Be sober, be vigilant, because your adversary, the devil, as a roaring lion, walketh about seeking whomever he may devour. And I meet a lot of Christians and uh, people who are not Christians that have uh, struggles in their life that they can't um, beat. And they're ministers, you know, they're ministers and some of them are not ministers. If you were raped and molested as a child, okay, and you're a minister today, and you're, you, you, you're preaching, you're doing well, you're prophesying, casting out devils, but yet you have issues in your life that you can't get by. You can't sleep, you can't keep no spouse, you have bad luck in the money area, you're strong in God, but everything else is not working for you. That's because when you got raped, that demon entered you. You have demons. You may sit there and say that you don't, but you do. And let me give you the signs of it, just some of the signs. Number one is going to be, you're going to start feeling, you will feel like something's kicking and moving around in your stomach. Like if you're a female, like you're pregnant, if you've had a baby. Um, you'll start having dreams that you're, making love to people in your dreams and you've not even been thinking about sex. Um, some of you will be getting raped physically by the devil. Um, burning in the chest, smelling strange smells in your house. Satan, once he rapes you and molests you, he has an open door to you. And basically, once he does that, he can actually marry you in the spirit realm because the only reason he got a chance to rape you uh, was because of some sin that was in the bloodline, okay? He got you through some sin in the bloodline. The Bible says the way to sin is death. Some of you will understand what I'm talking about. Some of you won't. But if you're having issues with that, you need to contact me so I can help you. You can contact me at bishopjohnson7777 at gmail.com. That's four sevens, okay? bishopjohnson7777 at gmail.com. Okay, because you've been raped, you've been molested, and things are not working for you. No matter who pray for you, how many times you pray, how many times you fast, you are still going through it. And you're doing things that you should not be doing. Um, you can't beat it. You've been trying to beat it for years. And I know some of you, some of you because you're pastors, you're going to have pride about it. Well, I don't think I should call him. What he going to do for me, blah, blah, blah. And because I've been raped and molested. He got you at a young age. Okay. Satan got you at a young age. Nothing wrong with it. It's nothing you had anything to do with. It was a bloodline generational curse. He got to you. If you want to be free from this spiritual bondage, contact me. And a lot of you Christians are going through it. You were raped and molested as a child, and you are still dealing with it today. Depression, anxiety, you're going through it. But yeah, you're still anointed now. Still doing your job, but just one stronghold you can't break. It's because you were raped and you were molested. Okay, contact me once again, Bishop Johnson, 7777 at gmail.com. God bless. Thank you so much.